All righty, here we go. We're starting now. Gray and Quag. We're seeing Robin Cineror. PS2 is the stage. Here we go. Gyro and Laser coming out immediately. Staples of Rob's move kit. Very difficult to work around, especially with a character who's not super mobile, such as Incineroar. You're going to have to be very cautious. You, it is a good opportunity to possibly revenge. However, if you can't work around it, it can be a nuisance for you. Envy joining me here on comms. Right, sorry I'm late, everybody. Seems like I've missed a good 50% and an even game. Good thing. Yeah, and all of 20 seconds, too. <laughs> yeah, 20 seconds for an even game 50. That's actually pretty good. Yep, that was what I was talking about. That revenge on the gyro was just kind of sitting there. Quag saw a free opportunity. Why not take it if you're Incineroar? Right, those, those ledge traps are going to be especially dangerous against Incineroar. Incineroar doesn't really have many options at ledge. Uh, nothing that can really help. Although he is using very smartly uh, Gyro to get a free revenge. And that's a high stack of revenge, but of course it goes immediately away against Rob's good grab. Ooh. <laughs> we see kill sparks there, even though that was nowhere close to killing. No, Gray saw an opportunity. He saw red when yeah. he saw Quag coming back on stage. You just couldn't hit him with the F smash on the descent. Uh-oh, that side B is going to kill right there, though. That's a Incineroar classic. Yeah, right now, it's, right now Quag is sitting pretty. As long as he is able to get a bunch of revenges off of the projectiles, he's going to be doing pretty good. And actually su surviving I don't the know dig. how that didn't kill that up air out of the down throw somehow not killing Quag. I know Incineroar was heavy but at 140 or whatever he was at that's surprising. Rob's up air is definitely very odd because of how it works it can be very deceptive which way you need to DI but if you get very lucky with the DI you can actually live for a decent amount of time with that up air. The big problem with it is that it's deceptive so you could just DI badly and die early from it. That is true, and that up throw right there, though, is going to finally take a stock back for Gray, though. He's down 80%, which is not a favorable position against it's, Incineroar. Especially if Incineroar is able to get one of these revenges against anything. And there it is. That'll probably kill if he's close enough to the ledge. Gray working back some of the percent here, though, using Gyro more effectively. Oh my goodness. That is a very nice up smash. You don't often see that against Incineroar's, but it is a pretty good call out for when the opponent is doing a short hop uh, forward air. That's what we saw there, and that those uh, constant revenge boosts Quag's been getting all match long definitely is proving just how much quicker he's moving his momentum. He's ramping his momentum essentially with it. Yeah. Quag is actually doing a really smart thing where he's playing very safe, which is pretty good because against Rob, who can just throw out an option very fast, um, choosing a more defensive playstyle can be really good so long as you're not getting zoned out. But right now, Quag sitting very pretty, almost. Uh, a full stock up in percent and all. Yeah, and Rob is a heavier character, but even still being a full stock down, that's all oh, wow, hang on. Yeah, that right there. That back air scoops on the bottom of the ledge there. Yeah. Gray saw that Quag was being a bit too patient at ledge, and because <laughs> because of that, uh, he was able to punish that. Uh, there's a couple people getting a little rowdy in the venue. <laughs> It doubles his hype. I'm just saying, you should join us a clutch up for it. Oh, absolutely. Doubles can sometimes be the perfect break from singles because you can be just serious enough that you're having fun, but just not serious enough that you don't get that burnt you're out. Really having fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're seeing the gyro being used effectively here. Gray is just trying to box him out at the ledge here, see if he can get that final kill. That up be sharking at ledge, thankfully allowing Quag to get back safely. So long as Quag is able to play fairly safe, that is not it. Wow. I figured right right there, seeing that. Unbelievable! That was a very, very odd situation right there, and I'm actually surprised that... That... All right, let's walk through that. Let's walk through that right there. Okay, we that, gotta... We gotta start with the throw. gyro throw. Okay, yeah. A gyro throw from downtown going uptown. That's... <laughs> You don't see that catch every day. Right there. Was and a, catching it, too. It was a bullpen session. Yeah. I'm guessing that he didn't mean to do that. He was just going for a landing there. But at the same time, that was good. Because if that hit, Rob was way off stage. And granted, Incineroar can't do much when the opponent's off stage. But it, that's still really a good, good position. But then into that F smash, I didn't think there was any chance that was going to kill. I didn't think so either. I, I want to say that's bad DI, but... 
there's enough time for Quag to react, so I'm guessing that that might have been there might have been something else to that. We're going into game two now, seeing a slight Rob skin change here from Gray. He likes to change the skins up quite a bit. Right, gotta update, gotta update everything. We are very accurate at bookkeeping here <laughs> at UW Whitewater. Except for when we aren't, but we don't talk about those times. Ooh, yeah. That's a revenge side B. That's going to do a lot. Yeah, that's 70% right there. You're going to be seeing that a lot during this game, or just this entire set. You've already been seeing it, but... But in a very even matchup if these two wanted to willingly go back to PS2. Yeah. They must both be pretty confident here. Because I'm guessing that uh, Gray is pretty confident in his ability to do a lot of damage at ledge. Re meanwhile, Quag just... He wants a good stage, and he, since he was so close to winning on this one, he just wants to do it again. That gyro barely hit, and if that connected, that would have been death. He's going for downer. Saw it coming and everything, but Quag was thankfully able to get around it. Another revenge side B, not quite going to kill, though. Yeah, unfortunately, cross stage, that is not going to be enough to kill. Very attack, still not. Very nice air dodge read, but unfortunately not enough to kill because it was sour spot. And somehow falling out of that up air. It beats me. Gray may, Gray may have been running out of uh, Uppy at the end there, but he air dodged back. <laughs> Gyro oh hitting Lariat and going nowhere. <laughs> and that is definitely death. Up, air, up throw for sure. That will kill. The backbreaker that apparently works on the robot that has no back. But he does have a spine, so I guess that works. Close enough. Yeah. And Gray was struggling a little bit to convert off of his down throws. That is a move that buries, but very good mashing, I would expect, on the end of Quag to get out of that. Quag needs to be very careful at ledge because no. you're just going to be seeing those back, back air. airs, down airs, the gyros, everything. Massive hitbox on that back air. That'll even the stocks up here. Two stocks apiece. Oh, but he messed up the um, zero to death, and unfortunately, he wasn't able to yep. clear it out. That is the difference between Gray and Baskin, I would say, right there. <laughs> don't, let him, don't let him hear you say that. <laughs> I'm surprised that didn't just go through shield. That up smash looked like it was hitting his head. Yeah, yeah. there's another berry. Still not, not going to convert anything off it. I think an up air might have hit there, but up tilt definitely not. It looks like Gray's basic strategy is to stay back, throw out some uh, projectiles, and then bait Quag into holding shield in, in order to get a grab. And then, of course, grab has a, he has a kill throw, he has berry. There's a lot of things he can do out of grab. Meanwhile, uh, if he pushes him to ledge, then of course, again, Robert ledge, very good. Meanwhile, Quag, he just wants to keep center stage. The power is all in his favor right about now. He's got Gray on the ropes on the stock. I think he's looking for a trump. Uh, but unfortunately, he wasn't able to get Yeah, trying to there. scoop with that down tilt. He's been using that a lot today. Very nice patience from Quag. Man. Recognizing that uh, Gray just really wanted some type of attack. Unfortunately, these, he's using up air in order to get out of hit stun. And Back throw, though. That will kill. That will kill. Slight lead for Quag. Yeah. If Gray keeps to his strategy and gets Quag in one of those situations where he's not sure if he's going to throw out a projectile or go for a grab, um, it's probably going to be death. There we go. That's the grab, and that might Down be throw, death. Can he convert? Yep, up smash for sure. At that high of a percent, he's not getting out of that very quick enough. Yeah, I'm not certain if there's actually certain percents where that becomes true. I don't play Rob or I or briefly fight Rob attempted so much. to, from my memory, I believe to a certain point it will generally work most of the time. Yeah, the way I see this match going is that percents don't really matter. Um, what matters more is positioning because yes. if Gray gets into a position where he can get a zero to death or an, like a cheeky little edge guard, then of course uh, Quag is going to die early, and if Quag gets a lot of revenge, you're going to be seeing a lot of percent ticking up. Absolutely. This is a game of essentially what mistakes do you make and what can you capitalize off of, and we're seeing these two capitalizing off a lot, but not everything. That, ooh, that neutral be not quite going to break shield. Yeah, unfortunately one of those hits just barely didn't connect on the shield. I'm not sure why. I think the back hit is just a little bit higher. Another roar! Straight for the audience. He's looking for, is he looking for Trump? I think he's looking for Trump. Ooh, good patience by Gray to get back from that one. Yeah, patience from Quag too. He didn't want to go for the Trump just because he wasn't sure that it would have been safe. Yeah, both of these both players are playing really safe because they know that they're at basically kill percents. Up tilt. He connected with it that time. Gets some damage. Both of these are pretty near kill percent. I'd what say they both are. Ah, that laser. That laser is just him. barely enough to kill. 
it, it, there's been a lot of momentum going in Quag's favor thus far, but he just hasn't converted yet near the end of the matches. Both, uh, both of the first two games are going to Gray, and Gray is trying to close this one out in this next game right now. I do see Quag coming back from this, especially when you consider how close both of these matches were. If Quag is able to recognize certain situations that Gray is putting himself in, he might be able to like hit those side Bs, and all it takes is one side B and one, and one wrench. Yep. Not in that order. <laughs> we are seeing the same characters again. Why switch it up at this point? Yeah, both of, these both of these players know that these characters are going to be really good for the they're trying Switching to play. Switching back to Pink Rob again. He's just getting <laughs> he's just getting a paint job every single time in between matches, just to spruce himself up. Oh, you gotta hide some of the scratch marks from yeah. the millions of cat claws and swiping across with those neutral bees. Hey, Rob is a very glamorous <laughs> guy, what can I say? He's old school, what can I say? Oh my goodness, that was a revenge up smash. I didn't, I nearly killed. I didn't even remember when he got revenge. But yeah, going for up smash is actually really good. You don't see that often from Quag, and now he's pulling it out really well. He might be dead here. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. expecting him to miss the ledge, but no, he just actually got spiked. Gray has been waiting to pull that one out all set, I imagine. Right. Finally got it up, so technically, oh. Oh, did not die. I am surprised that, that did not kill, because I know Rob is pretty heavy, but still, against Incineroar, what does heavy mean, truly? Death. It truly does. Light, medium, heavy, it doesn't really matter to Incineroar. <laughs> not at all. Gyro clanking out. Is that going to be a... Oh. That is not a zero to death, just barely. Oh, but... oh well, that time. Yeah. He added a little back air at the end, and he got him there. That was very pretty from Gray. Yeah, unfortunately, Incineroar in that position, there isn't much he can do, especially because Quag lost his jump, so he had to side B in order to make it back. He could have ended up in another combo had that down tilt landed, but thankfully, Revenge got him out of it. <laughs> he got tripped at the worst possible timing. This is going to be a... Ooh. This is a, this is a now losing Gray's, battle that Quag is playing. starting to cook. He, momentum is very much in his favor. Yeah. He's digging a deeper hole for Quag here. It's going to get difficult to get out Both of. Both players know who has the momentum right now. And very you can tell up smash. How, Not quite going to kill. Both of these players are playing. Quag on his last legs here. That side B just barely didn't connect, but that back throw is going to put Rob off stage. We'll put him at kill percent, I would imagine. Ooh, a very good parry. Yeah, excellent Just parry perfect in time. Side B, that might kill. That's, it will. Yeah, that'll definitely kill. Um, One all right. stock each. Quag at a percent disadvantage. That's like not you said, it. Oh, percentage okay. is not what matters. Up tilt, up air. No set. kill sparks once again for whatever reason. Game set and match 3 0 from Gray. It never felt quite out of anyone's realm of.